case detective on the case. I'm not a detective, it's supposed to be an attorney. <laughs> Wrong one. Great Ace Attorney, uh, before before we begin, I also want to um, just preface. Uh, this is a fan translation. Why is- why am I frozen? Bro! But yeah, the, <laughs> this is a fan translation, so there might be some, some off things about it. It might, I don't know, some things might go a little haywire. Um, at some points. Also, I'm using an emulator, so you're gonna see the cursor. Uh, <clears throat> like a- yeah, I'm using a- um, what's that called? Like a- <laughs> a phone- a phone emulator, yeah. So, it's gonna be a point and click. You're gonna see a lot of my cursor. Um, <laughs> but hopefully that's- that's gonna be fine. But yeah, let's go! Great Ace Attorney! I'm so excited! <laughs> okay, hopefully everything goes well. This never got uh, an official um, English translation, so it's everything, all the names are still in Japanese. Uh, everything is just a straight up translation and it's not like a localization as Capcom usually does with Ace Attorney. They turn, they turn every like, oh my god, what's going on? Alright. Sorry, I've been, I've been dilly dallying for too long. Uh, we will begin. Very soon. All right. I think everything is good. Everything is good. If something goes wrong, I'm sorry. I will probably have to, you know, work on it as it goes. Um, but yeah, here we go. Here we go, boys. Let's go. New game. Oh. Oh. Oh.文明開化Who is it? Oh, ah, oh, jeez. 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 Oh, <laughs> yo yo okay all right this i see how it goes i see how it is what is that what is that okay uh all right a supreme court defendant lobby five even now i still find it hard to believe <sighs> while everything seems so calm in this lobby just one step beyond lies the grand bench where my fate will be decided Ah, oh right. Oh, I'm here. Okay. The waiting room or whatever. <laughs> what do you want? N nothing. Glaring at me won't do you any good, you damn murderer. Oh my god, dude. I we haven't even done anything. Uh, sorry. Yo. <laughs> What is the spirit of justice? Like, damn. Alright. My name is Yunosuke Naruhodo. I'm a second year student at Imperial Yumei University in the Empire of Japan. Three days ago, I was caught up in a terrible incident. And now, I await my judgment. <laughs> HALT! Who? <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> He came in spotted. He came in spotted. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, he looks so good. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, I okay. I I've seen I've seen a couple I've seen a couple of like promo pictures, right? And when I was looking at this game, <sighs> he is he looks very he looks very good. Anyway, 
Bailiff, I'd say it's about time you stem the flow of garbage coming from your mouth. Jesus. Excuse me, who do you think you are? I'm the defense attorney for the attendant- the defendant not the attendant before you. What is this? Airlines? Fina Airlines? <clears throat> defense attorney, you say? Until today- uh, until today's trial has ended, until the final verdict has been passed. You have no right to call this man a criminal. Watch your words, bailiff. Oh, he's got a sword. I don't think that's... Uh, I mean... I mean, if you think about, um... Blackwell. I was gonna say, like, holding a sword in court is probably not gonna help your case, but whatever. <laughs> Yo, yeah, like, aren't we indoors? Like, where is this wind coming from? <laughs> Ugh. Arrogance, little know-it-all. You and your stupid logic, bro. <laughs> ah, damn. Okay. At least I'm capable of making logical arguments, unlike you. Oh, damn. <laughs> ah! The way he, oh, the way he turns. That's so cute. Don't you agree, Yunosuke Naruhodo? Ah, don't call me by my name. Huh? Whoa, sorry about all that. Let me hold that hand, sir. Let me hold that hand. Why are you apologizing to me? Uh, never mind. I'm really sorry, Asogi, for giving you so much trouble. Asogi, huh? <laughs> and in the end, you still apologize. <laughs> you never change. Guess not. Ooh, are they like are they like uh like childhood friend type deals? Ooh, that's cute. That's cute. I like that. Lately, your name has been in every paper in the capital. Imperial Yume you uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yume uh, is that is that what they're saying? Like Yume like popular? Like uh no, uh famous? Yume University? Imperial Yume University professor killed. The culprit, a student from the same university. And yet... You didn't do it, did you? Of course not! You have to believe me! I... I didn't kill him. Obviously. I mean, like, I can't be the- I can't be the protagonist if I'm a murderer. <laughs> That'd be so funny. It's like, trial- tutorial case, I murdered a dude. Anyway, let's go. Get back into business. I'm not a murderer. Then, stop hanging your head. Chin up, back straight. Okay, yes sir! Asogi. I believe in you. Dyunosuke, naruhodo. Oh, okay. This is my best friend, Kazuma Asogi. Ah, best friend. Ah, what a what a great life I've I'm I've been living to to be best friends with this punk. Anyway, <clears throat> he's a second year student like me. Oh shit, sorry. He's a second year student like me. But to be frank, he and I are worlds apart. He's he is the pride and joy of our university. I am just a buffoon. <laughs> Even though he's still a ah, <laughs> I was I was reading. Is there a log? Yo, oh backlog. Even though he's still a student, he's already qualified to be defense attorney. I see, I see, I see. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's defending me. I think. I think that's what he said. You're too kind. Defense attorneys are still an emerging profession here in Japan. Oh, I see. We are but a meager existence in the judicial system, at least for now. I know I already said this three days ago, but also, as your friend, I couldn't be more proud of you. Oh, that's so cute. Three days ago. That's right. That was when it happened. What? What's it? I guess we'll never know. Oh! Oh, what are we on a cafe date? Oh, this is cute. Okay. I like this POV shot. <laughs> this POV shot. Congratulations, Azogi! You've finally been approved to study abroad. Yes. I've finally done it. It feels like a dream come true. It seems like... Uh, uh, it seems the government has recognized my achievements b as both a student and a lawyer. <laughs> You'll be studying the greatest legal system in the world as a representative of Japan. As your friend, I couldn't be more proud of you. 
And as you'll ever <coughs> Anyway. There isn't a soul at Yume University who doesn't know Sogi's name. But I am the I am the special one. Anyway. <laughs> Wherever he goes, a mysterious warm breeze follows. So the rumors say. For the sake of reforming this country's legal oh, oh sorry. For the sake of re reforming this country's legal system. I want to observe a true regal regal I can't read. I <laughs> I forgot to preface that. I can't read. Anyway. <clears throat> I want to observe a true legal system across the sea with my own two eyes. The British Empire. Man, I wish I could see it. I'm too dumb. <laughs> then why don't you come with me? Oh. <laughs> is this a... Uh, is this a... Uh, is this an invite? Is this an invitation? Is this a proposal? <clears throat> it would bring me great pleasure to rampage through... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sh I uh, 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 <clears throat> put a sock in it. Put a sock in it. Okay. <clears throat> it would bring me great great pleasure to rampage through the queen's domain with you. You make it sound so easy. Oof. Oh, look at the time. I have to get going. <sighs> I'll stay a bit longer. We did come all this way after all. You're right. We rarely get the chance to visit a high-class establishment like this. <sighs> we really get to have dates like this too, huh? <clears throat> well then, take care. See you in tomorrow's English lecture partner. <sighs> and so he disappears. Uh, all right. Shortly afterwards, I killed someone. Just kidding. <laughs> Miss, uh oh. Hi, okay. Uh, question mark is um, calling for us. Mr. Asogi, a moment please? Who is it? Oh. Hello! She's cute. Okay. Why, Professor? I didn't expect to see you. Well, I can't say in this incident, uh, I can't say this incident doesn't concern me. More importantly, you ought to go and see the judge in his chambers. Why? Why? What happened? The, the judge? He's been looking for you for quite some time. You took on the lo- the the the- I can't read. You took on the role of a defense attorney without much warning, lest you forget. As a result, today's proceedings seem to be in a bit of a disarray. Who is this gentleman? I feel like I've seen him around the university before. I don't freaking your guess is as good as mine. I don't know who these people are. Understood. I'll be I'll be there at once. Allow me to accompany you. Oh, don't smile at me! <gasps> oh, no, I... Yo, okay. Before... <sighs> I have a bad feeling, dude. I don't know. I don't know what happens in this game, but I have a bad feeling. Like, he he's too good. Like, he's gonna die. In, this, in the first case or the second case. I don't know. Something about it. Like, I, ooh, I'm so scared, dude. I hope he doesn't. I really hope he doesn't. I hope I'm just imagining things. But I feel... <sighs> I... <sighs> Something's foreboding about about him. <laughs> it's always like the childhood friends that are always like that. Oh. I hope he doesn't. I hope he's there forever. I hope he's here forever. I hope we marry. Anyway. <clears throat> well then, Naruhodo, I'll see you in the courtroom. Right, I'm conning on you, Sogi. Don't die. Mm. 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 <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> wow, this is awkward. <laughs> I'm glad you think alike. I'm glad you and I think alike. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah? Are you. Sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. Are you Ryunosuke Naruhodo, the defendant in today's trial? Yeah, that's me. So. 
I am Yujin Mikotoba, a professor of the forensic pathology at Yume University. I see. P professor Mikotoba. I've heard that name from Asogi. He's the one who tirelessly lobbied the government to let Asogi study, st the, the, the study abroad. I see. Hmm. <sighs> he, uh. I hope you give me your blessings. Asogi has informed me that you are his best friend. That's all he said? Okay. Oh. If that's true, then there's something you must know. What is it? <laughs> As you are aware, Asogi is set to study abroad in the British Empire. I don't know. <laughs> What's up with my consonants? <clears throat> However, in the event that he loses today's trial, his trip will be suspended and he'll never receive such an opportunity again. Why? Why? Who? What? You really didn't know then. Yeah, of course. Uh, I suspected that Asogi would wish to hide the truth from you. <sighs> Bro. Bro! So Asogi's defending me despite the risk. Bro! Nani? Wait! Why would they do that to him? Our government chooses who gets to study abroad from a wide pool of candidates. Let's just say that to receive such a privilege is no laughing matter. But... Still, I... I swear I didn't do it! I'm not a murderer! Oh, but of course. However, I must warn you, it will be quite difficult to prove your innocence. Why? You see, today's trial is special, to say the least. Oh. <laughs> this is the freaking tutorial! This is a tutorial trial! Why is it- why is there so much at stake already? Bro, what's going on? I thought like, you know, like the, you know, like the joke, the joke prosecutor is gonna come out and it's gonna be like super freaking easy. It's gonna be like, <laughs> I don't know, man. <clears throat> huh? W what do you mean by that? You'll find out once the trial begins whether you like it or not, my boy. Hmm? Uh, then what on earth should I do? Keep this in mind. I'm not asking you to just stand there and accept a guilty verdict. Huh? Yeah, of course, obviously. I'm not gonna freaking go to jail for something I didn't do. As soon as the trial begins, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. To this question, you must reply, I am, before anyone else has a chance to speak. I, I am? Oh, hold on. What kind of cash? What kind of question is this gonna be? Oh. No way. Is it gonna be like... <laughs> Whoever's the murderer, raise your hand, and then you go, I am. <laughs> All right, case closed. Dang. <laughs> Probably not. <clears throat> is it gonna? Is it gonna be something like, who is the killer? <laughs> I swear I didn't. I didn't. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not putting out spoilers on purpose. Special trials is our specialty, yeah, honestly, apparently. Uh, no, no, of course not. Defend it! <laughs> the trial is about to start! Make your way to the courtrooms! Okay. Oh my, it's time. It appears that our se secret talk must end here. What happened? In any case, I shall leave you with these words. Kazuma Asogi must not stand as the, as the defense attorney in today's trial. Why? Wait. Oh, is this what's happening? Oh, is this why? Like, oh, it's your it's your tutorial trial. You get to defend yourself. What is this Ace Attorney esque bullshit? Anyway, <clears throat> of course, the one who ultimately decides that will be you, the defendant. What are you waiting for? You want to be held in contempt of court and contempt of what happened? <laughs> that cocky little attorney won't be much of help anyway, so move it! Oh god. Oh god, everything's in black and white. That's how you know it's serious. If we lose today's trial, 
Not only will I be found guilty of murder, Asogi will lose his chance to study abroad too. <laughs> and so, blissfully unaware of what lay ahead. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. I headed off to the trial. Alright, let's go! Woo! That faithful trial, one I'd never forget. No, oh, jeez. Not to raise the bar or anything. This is just the first freaking- this is the tutorial. Dude, I'm so scared. Like, I mean, okay. The main reason <clears throat> the main thing I don't- the main thing I want is for Asogi to not die. <laughs> I don't know, something about him. Something about him. I feel like he, there's a death flag waving around him. Or it might be just his headband. But, you know. Something about him is a little scary. Anyway, give me a second. Let me just drink. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right, 22 November, 9 a.m. Supreme- 22 November. <laughs> uh, Supreme Court, Court 2. <laughs> me too, dude, me too. So, this is a courtroom. Wah! Not just any courtroom. This is a Supreme Court, the highest legal authority in the Empire. This is really good graphics, by the way. Like, I know this was for the 3DS. It was uh, it was on the 3DS, and it ported, uh, it was ported into the into the uh, phone, like iOS and Android. <clears throat> but this looks really good. Anyway. Oh damn. <laughs> hmm. Something feels off about the gallery. Why are there so many people in uniform? Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was just like, yeah, it was just like two, like, they just made like three, like, very, very vague images of people in uniform and just put it up there. It's just like, oh, okay, there's, there's gonna be a reason for it. Today's trial is being conducted in absolute secrecy by order of the government. Why? <laughs> absolute secrecy? That's what I said. <laughs> Alright. The general public has no idea that this trial is taking place. The only ones allowed to be in attendance are military and the government officials. Is it still? Is it still meowing? <laughs> Hold on. Anyway! Time to focus, not a hold. Sorry, sorry. Uh, freaking my stream, my alert thing wasn't going, but I'm I'm here now, Asogi. I'm here, full focus. It's about to begin. All right. <clears throat> uh, oh, freaking. Oh damn! Oh damn! This judge is balling. Okay, what a, what voice do I give him? <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Ryunosuke Naruhodo. Uh... The prosecutor is ready, your honor. <laughs> As is the defense. Before we proceed, there is one thing I would like to confirm. Last night, I received an urgent request for a change of attorney of, from the defense. Yes, your honor. It was I who submitted that request. Custom di dictates that an attorney, attorney. <laughs> I'm not used to saying that word. Attorney, attorney. Custom dis dictates that an attorney ought to be appointed two days before the trial. Therefore, I must ask for confirmation. Who is to stand as the defense for the accused? 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 In today's trial. Oh, this is it. This is it. Here it is, the opening question. In other words, who will be defending me in this trial? But if I answer I am, then that would mean... <sighs> There's no time to think. I should say I am and wait and see what happens. <sighs> mm, I mean, 
He did say, he did say I have to say I am. Well, I mean, that's the game, right? You have to be the ace attorney. Defend yourself in court, say I am. Your Honor, there's no need to confirm. Needless to say, the one who will be defending the accused is... Hi! Me! I'm raising, I'm ra you can't see, but I'm raising my hand. <laughs> what was that out of place yell? Uh, the, the, uh, the one who will be defending the accused is... Me! The accused. <laughs> Do you know Skenaru Hodo? What? What? Who, what do you think you're doing, Naruhodo? Professor Mikotoba told me everything. Come again? If if I'm declared guilty, your study abroad will be suspended. I'm disappointed. <laughs> No, don't be! No, I'm tr I'm tr I'm doing this for you, boo. <laughs> You're saying that you don't trust me at all. That's not it! No, Asagi! Please, please, <laughs> don't hate me. <laughs> Sorry. He's playing hard to get. We love you. <clears throat> Hold on. Drink. All right. You think that if I was your attorney, we would lose this trial? That's not it. That's not it. I don't want to. You. I don't want to have your education, way like, get weighed on this particular instance. I don't want it to be my fault that you can't. Be like you can't do live your you know live your dreams and stuff you know listen, bro, I love you and I miss you. <laughs> anyway, no, absolutely not. But if there's even a chance that you, because of me, yeah, exactly. You tell him, Naruhodo. <sighs> I knew it. I knew you'd pull something like this. That's why I kept my mouth shut. Oh, he knows me. <laughs> Damn it, Professor Mikotoba. That was completely unnecessary. Very well. The court acknowledges that the accused will defend himself in today's proceedings. Ah, <laughs> I see. By renouncing his attorney, the accused is, 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 is admitting his own crime. Igiyari! Do not misunderstand. The first Igiyari. <laughs> the first Igiyari was from Asogi. Let the record set. Uh, let, 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 uh, yes. <laughs> the one who is most sure of his own innocence is simply the defendant himself. That is all. Yes, what he said. Isn't that right, defendant? Yes, what he said. Y yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, tell him, bro. <laughs> but, if I, but if I'm being honest... <laughs> the same face! It's the same... Oh, that's... Oh, that brings me back. It's the same... Um, the same, like, face that Phoenix makes. <laughs> this defendant is drawing a total blank on what to do next. Oh wait, wait. Can I? Is there any way of taking? Oh, uh, this is such a good pose. I like that. I like that. Anyway, <laughs> first of all, do something about those shifty eyes of yours. Sorry, sorry. Hm. How dare a mere student bother the great Supreme Court with such a trite case? <laughs> nice. Surely I'm not the only one who's outraged by this arrangement. Shut up. <laughs> just, uh, as you gentlemen- <laughs> I was literally just gonna say, just shut up. As you gentlemen know, this is the grand bench of the Supreme Court. As such, we, de de blah blah blah. we demand a trial befitting this courtroom, the pinnacle of our legal system. Okay. Defendant. I yeah. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> I, still, I shall now gauge whether or not you are qualified to stand in this court. Oh, okay. What's he gonna do? In other words, the judge doubts that you have the ability to properly defend yourself. Joke's on him because the person with the most doubts is none other than myself. <laughs> now, I shall pose some simple questions to the defense regarding this case. <laughs> yes, your honor. First, what is the name of the victim in this murder? Answer promptly and clearly. I... Okay. I should know this one. I've heard it countless times since the incident. I didn't! I didn't! It's... Huh? <laughs> oh no, I'm so nervous I can't remember. Wait, what was his name again? Naruhodo. You're drawing a total blank on this one, right? Uh, you're my best friend, all right. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's about blah, blah, blah. everything about this incident has been logged into the court record. The the court record? Oh, thank you. Go ahead and touch the court record button at the top right corner of the screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In there, you'll find everything you need, even things you may have forgotten. Great. Let's try tapping the court record. Boink. Here's all the evidence. Oh yes, my badge. <laughs> this is a nice badge. I like that. Okay, let's see. School badge. Proof that one is a student of Imperial Yume University, always on school uniforms. Postmortem died after- this is the court record. Or, no. Court record. Um... Yeah, court- <laughs> Ugh. Uh, autopsy report, yes. I, I forgot the word. Uh, died after 2 p.m., was shot in the chest and bled to death. Bullet did not pass through his body. Cool. That's probably gonna be important. Once, you uh, once, you've con uh, once you've confirmed the victim's details, press back to return to the task at hand. Okay. Kazuma Asogi 23. 23? Oh, university. I, for some reason, I thought of high school. I mean, it, it wouldn't make sense <laughs> if he was a lawyer and also a high school student. But I think because they're all wearing Gakuram. But I mean, yeah, it, at this point in time, probably every, like, every scholar is probably wearing Gakuram. He's a great talent as a lawyer, despite just being a student, my best friend and my lover. Yuji Mikotoba42, professor, da da da, authority in forensic medicine, Asogi's mentor. Oh, mentor, I see. It appears he does not approve of what culture. Uh, he does not approve of what cultural enlightenment has done to society. Is this gonna be important? <laughs> Victim in this case. Oh, we just killed Watson. We literally just killed Watson. Oh wait, I mean, I, we. I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. <laughs> Someone killed Watson. That's important. <laughs> Was invited to come from the British Empire to the university medical doctor. Okay. Hey. I'm back. All relevant pieces of information can be found in the court record- Oh no, he already said that. <laughs> now, we shouldn't keep his honor waiting. Present your answer to him. Choose the profile of the victim and present it to the court. Oh, okay. Victim. Present. Hi! Hi! The victim is... Dr. John H. Watson. <laughs> Do something about their shifty eyes. Oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> of course you wouldn't remember the name of the professor at your own university. Dr. Watson was a medical doctor for the British Empire. Three years ago, he was invited to teach at Imperial Yume University. And... Uh, <coughs> And that is why we have such a tremendous tobacco on our hands. The British Empire. A country with which the em Empire of Japan wishes to maintain strong diplomatic relations. Oof. Recently, after lengthy negotiations, our two empires signed a new treaty. The Japanese Anglo Treaty of Commerce and Navigation. 
everyone knows about it. This is really like, this is really deep into history actually. Like I was not expecting it to be like really rooted into the the actual Taisho era of Japan. That's really interesting. I have to learn more about it as, as, as it goes. Huh! You knew that and yet you still took the life of a Briton. What's more, you're students at Imperial University than yourselves. Doink. You murdered a professor of an institution of learning. Have you no shame? I... Literally, we just started, dude. Like, I'm not... I haven't been proven guilty. I don't know what to tell you. But I didn't do it. Due to the grave nature of this incident, we have drawn the attention of the British Empire. They have requested that the Supreme Court pass swift judgment on today's trial. Oh, that's why it's in secret. Hmm. In other words, our spineless government is bending over backwards to pe appease the Brits. Oh, damn. Okay. Yee! <laughs> Which one? This dude? Yeah, everyone's anime. I love him though. <laughs> anyway. If you can't tell already. You're just being used as a convenient scapegoat for that end. Is that what makes this trial so special? Exactly. Our country must find someone to punish as soon as possible. Ah. All because the victim is a Brit. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. A British man, Dr. John H. Watson. <clears throat> This has nothing to do with our countries, or that treaty. I, I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Also, you, like, picked up the gun, apparently. I mean, I, I don't know, like, I don't know how true our- also, like, it's zooming in. <laughs> it's still zooming in. Um, I don't know how true it was, like, that- that little- that little scene, the little animation that we saw. I don't know how true it is, but you definitely picked up the gun! Uh, not- not good for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's flashback to the to the better times. Oh, would oh, oh right right after right after he left. Uh, oh, would you look at the time? I have to get going soon. I'll stay a bit longer. We came all this way after all. You're right. We rarely get the chance to visit a high class establishment like this. Well then, take care. See you in tomorrow's English 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 lecture, partner. Hi, <sighs> boy. Off to the British Empire, huh? What a guy. <laughs> That's my boyfriend. Anyway. Oh? Oh, okay. He's just there. I've seen that man on campus before, I think. He's that doctor for- Oh, I think he's that doctor from Britain. I never got his name, though. Maybe I should go introduce myself. And so, I shot him. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I went to Dr. Watson's table to introduce myself. Now, let us move on to the next question. E yes, Your Honor. How was Dr. John H. Watson robbed of his life? <laughs> Why do you have to say it like that? Okay. Present the cause of death to this. Uh, death. This. This. Present the cause of death to the Supreme Court. Dr. Watson's ca uh, case of death? <sighs> Quesadilla? <laughs> that would be... Narodo. This is a court of law. Here, we let the evidence speak for itself. The, the evidence? What's that? <laughs> He's like, are you sure you're- are you sure we're in the same freaking university? Uh, present the piece of evidence showing the doctor's cause of death. Yes, my badge! I'm just kidding. Oh, there's details. Wait, hold on, I wanna see. Victim, male, British, uh, 2 p.m. This is probably gonna be important. Cause of death, blood to death after a single shot to the chest. Yeah, okay, no exit wound. That's also probably important. Hi! Hi! Um. <laughs> oh, this is cute! I like this animation! Oh, this is so cute! Wow, they really—they really amped up the animation, huh? According to this thing, <laughs> it was blood loss from a gunshot wound, Your Honor. <laughs> At 
least call it by its proper name. That thing is a post-mortem report. Yeah, 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 that, that, uh-huh, the post -mortem. yep, mm. In the West, for example. In the British Empire... Oh, uh, wait, what? In the West, for example, in the British Empire, corpses undergo what is called an autopsy. But in our country, police surgeons conduct a post-mortem examination instead. Oh, that's why it's called different. Uh, right, N now I get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Bro, aren't you in the same university? Allow me to present a photograph of the crime scene. Oh, we didn't have that. As you can see, there are gunpowder burns around the bullet hole. Meaning... The victim was shot at point-blank range. There is no other conclusion. Nice steak. That looked really good. I really want steak. I'm hungry. Very well. The, course, course, the court accepts this modern... Modern? Yeah, he did say that. The court accepts this modern investigation tool as evidence. What? Oh, photograph. Oh, oh, right. Okay, it's it's everything's gonna be in black and white, right? Because there's no, is there is there is there a color photo at this time? I don't I don't know. A photograph of the victim. Wow. So this is a photograph. It's my first time seeing one. Every time I look at it, it makes me laugh, and I don't know why. It captures far more detail than what you than uh, what you would expect from an illustration. I'm, I'm glad I could be here for your first time looking at a photograph. Very well, you have proven yourself to the court. The questioning ends here. Oh, I've been raided. Thank you for the raid. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Hi, everyone. Uh, you've proven yourself to the court. The questioning ends here. Yes. Now, let us proceed with the trial. What? Oh, <laughs> the sleeves. I was like, what are you... <laughs> about to do the Macarena or something? Understood, your honor. First, I would like to give an overview of the incidents. Doink. I hereby summon a witness who was present at the scene of the crime. Oof. Here we go. <laughs> hmm. I just realized what the professor had the professor had in mind. Professor Mikotoba, you mean? He knew that you'd be the one defending yourself in court. However, as long as I stand by your side, I can still offer you advice. <sighs> Please stand by my side forever, Osogi. Oh, yeah, that's true. Here's what Professor Meek- Oi! Hola, that scared me. <laughs> Here's what Professor Mikotoba told me. Kazuma Asogi must not stand as the, the, as the defense attorney in today's trial. Good grief, everything went exactly as Professor planned. Please lend me your wisdom, Asogi! I am but a little dumbass! You've got it. For starters, do something about that shifty eyes and cold sweats. I'll do my best. Only if you do something about your fluttery headband and cold gaze. Oh, you can see it too, right? I'm not going crazy. Like, it's 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 fluttering. It's fluttering. There is no wind anywhere. This is an indoors. This is indoors. There's no wind whatsoever. And yet, his the back of his... The back of his freaking head is like a fan. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> All right, first uh, witness, which is probably going to be the only witness, because it's a tutorial case. Nice. Nice hair. I like that. Witness, please state your name and occupation to the court. Uh, what's this? <sighs> Shit. Certainly. My name is Hotaru Hosonaga. I am, wait I am a waiter at La Quantos, a restaurant serving Western cuisine. <coughs> oh, you're freaking dying, sir. Sir! 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 <laughs> Objection! Objection! He's dying! He's another witness! He's, an he's not a witness! He's not a witness! He's a freaking- <laughs> He's another- 
Um, he's another victim. It's another post-mortem. Let's go. Updated, updated autopsy report. Anyway, sorry. I was yelling a lot. I should probably lower my voice a little bit. Okay. Cough, cough. Um, are you okay? There's blood dripping out of your mouth. This is completely normal. I'm perfectly fine. I don't know about that. Mmm, I'm not too sure about that. A few years ago, the southeastern corner of the capital was open to foreign settlements. Now it has become a fashionable area, lined with hotels catering to visitors from abroad. The crime occurred three days ago in that area, that a re and, a re and a restaurant specializing in western cuisine. I feel like every other sentence I'm like, I can't read. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. <clears throat> Alright. Witness, please share everything you know with the court. As you wish. Try not to interrupt this man's testimony, amateur attorney. I'm warning you. Yes, sir. I have never even called myself an attorney. <laughs> yeah, you didn't start, right? You're still a student. Ooh, nice. I like this OST. Ooh. Nice. It was just after 2 p.m. Uh, hold on. That sounds like a sogi. Um... It was just after 2 p.m. that day. We normally have a few patrons at that hour. After the lunch rush, only three groups of customers remained. Come to think of it, he's right. There weren't any customers. Many. There weren't many customers at the time. There were some. <laughs> I am dying. Excuse me. I was in the kitchen, putting away the dishes when suddenly... Bam. Panic at the disco. A gunshot rang from the dining area. When I ran out, I saw it. The photograph. I saw the British gentleman, the victim, slumped over in the chair. Standing next to him was the defendant, holding a pistol. Yeah, that's- I mean, why'd you do that, dude? Hi! Hi! I did not- <laughs> It's like, did so, did not, did so. <laughs> this is a court of law. Wait, please, wait a second. Y yeah, I picked up the gun when I noticed it on the ground. I was like, who dropped this here? Oh, shit, someone's dead. <laughs> but, but I swear, I didn't fire it. Save your breath. I've already warned you once. We are here to listen to the oh, witness's testimony, not your outbursts, you amateur. But... Mm. Huh. The next time you interrupt, be prepared to suffer a penalty. Oh, god damn it. Ah, I am, I am frozen. Hold on, I'm frozen. I am Disney's frozen. And I am back. Alright. I am not about to suffer. Uh, I'm suffering. <laughs> okay. Are you good? You good, sir? Prepare to suffer a penalty. Alright. Naruto. You get your chance to strike back eventually. For now, listen to what it, this man has to say. Ugh. <laughs> There is one thing I would like to lose. Oops. I'm frozen again. Give me a second. Ah. Okay. There's one thing I would like to confirm. You saw the accused standing next to the victim with a pistol in hand, correct? <coughs> Certainly, that is correct. And apart 
from the accused, no one else was near the victim. Certainly not. Apart from the deceased British gentleman and the defendant, no one else was present. Huh? Wait, what did he just say? No one else was present near the victim? What's the matter? No, 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 no. What's the matter, Norohodo? I wasn't there, so, you know, tell me. <laughs> that's... that's not how I remember it. When I walked over to introduce myself to Dr. Watson... Oh! There was a woman sitting in the chair across from him. <gasps> what? There's no way I... the waiter missed that. They keep telling me not to interrupt, but can I really just stand and watch this? Interrupt him anyway. Interrupt him. This is important! Hi! Hi! Give me just a moment to defend myself. Dr. Watson wasn't sitting- Dr. Watson wasn't sitting alone at the time. Along. Al <laughs> it's not even a tongue twister, and yet I am twisting everywhere. I am certain that there's another- there's a woman dining with him. There's another woman! <laughs> <laughs> was too. Yay! My my, what a troublemaker! This attorney will stop at nothing to intervene, interfere with the. In, 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 he's more, the little more than a fraud. I can't speak. I'm not even sure what we can reasonably call the accused an attorney. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, dude. I'm, I'm a university student. I never called myself an attorney. I just like, for some reason I had to do this, you know? Like, I'm not telling you how to live your life, whatever. But, but I'm not an attorney. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on, get out of here. Hold on. Witness, are you sure your memory, uh, are you sure your memory isn't flawed? I certainly am. The British gentleman came to the restaurant by himself that day. But that's impossible! I'm dying. I made sure to sketch the seating arrangement for our patrons on- uh, of our patrons on this right here. That's very convenient of you. I implore you to check for yourself. Huh. This appear uh this appears to be a sketch of the crime scene. Since oh <laughs> since it, went a it was an emergency situation, I resorted to using the back of my business card. As you can see, this shows that the victim was alone at the time in question. Is there no one else? You've gone uh, you've gone above and beyond for the call of duty. Warfare. Truly, you are an admirer, admirable young waiter. Also, maybe has like two hours left to live. You flatter me, Your Honor. I request that you s present that sketch to the court as evidence for the trial. Oh, well. Is something wrong? Go ahead, hand it over. Uh, certain. As you wish. He's sketchy, he's sketchy. Something, something's, something's wrong. Ah, Bamboka! Thank you so much for the sub! Thank you! I love you! Thank you! <laughs> <clears throat> That's odd. He was pretty calm until now. Until- <coughs> Oh my god, he's dying! He's dying! <laughs> Guys! <laughs> he's freaking dying! <coughs> he's right, the waiter does seem to look a bit flustered. Yo, I can still hear my- I can still hear my alerts, even though my alerts- Also, sorry, I'm so sorry, I didn't- I don't- I don't- I don't mean to- To let you cough the entire time I was speaking. Oh my god, he's dying, guys. Okay, hold on, give me a second, give me a second. That summarizes what happened during the incident. When the gunshot rang out from the dining hall, the only person near the victim was the accused.
I'll just call, I'll just say the accused. I I don't know. I just for some reason can't say accused, accused, accused. Why I'd say we will we'll be wrapping up this tri trial early today. Uh oh. Defendant, do you know Skei Naruhodo? Yes, Your Honor. If you plead guilty now, the court is willing to recognize your plea as a mitigating factor. Oi, oi. He means that your punishment may be reduced. Oi. Be aware that this witness has was only here to provide a summary of the incident. But if you insist on prolonging this trial, doink. Then the prosecution will gladly summon a decisive witness to the stand. Uh oh. Wait, there's another witness? That's important though. Like, we need to know about that. Hey, Asogi, what should I do? What are you talking about? Well, uh, well, it sounds like I'm about to be declared guilty sooner or later. So, I think it might just be best if I plead guilty right now. I mean, everyone's been talking about how special this trial is, right? You, Professor Mikotoba, heck, even the judge and the pr prosecutor. The prosecutor. <laughs> if the trial keeps going on like this, I'm scared of how it might end. <laughs> He's glaring daggers at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> As I said before the trial, I believe in you, Naruhodo. And now, in spite of that, you intend to betray my good faith? Oh my god. <laughs> I, uh... Huh? If the, de the, 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 if the defendant is truly innocent, it's a defense attorney's duty to use any means necessary to prove itself. You have a duty to defend yourself. Are you going to abandon your duty? He said duty. <laughs> Even worse, you'll give up the battle when it's only just begun? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! Sir, your hand okay? The defense will continue to fight for an innocent verdict until the very end. The prosecution needs to stop stalling for time and just move on with the trial. Go ahead! Call this so-called decisive witness to the stand. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Very well. Prosecutor Ouchie. <laughs> Continue as you- <laughs> I'm sorry, Ouchie is such a funny name. <laughs> Continue as you were. Oh, how young and foolish you both are. How young and in love to not know your place in this court. They may call me a saint, but I am prepared to become a demon. Alright. Ugh. <laughs> Before long, I shall have your impudent l I impudent or impudent <laughs> little mouth sealed permanently. Doink. The prosecution will not call two witnesses to the stand. Two? You can't do that. You can't just you can't just play two cards. That's not how Yu-Gi-Oh works. Now, bailiff, bring in the prosecutor's witnesses. Two. That's not fair. Oi. Huh? Witnesses, please state your names and occupations to the court. Am I supposed to cross- Am I supposed to cross-examine two people at the same time? What's- What? Okay. <laughs> uh, what's his, what's his voice gonna be? <clears throat> uh, yes sir! I am a proud soldier of the Empire, Sergeant Taizo- hmm? Taizo Uzukumaru, sir. Oh god. This one is but a little meddler of time. 
And then to query one who brings the Empire Cap Imperial Capital, the essence of cur curios from bygone eras. What's happening? <laughs> why, is he, why is he trembling so much? Why? <laughs> Are you okay, sir? Are you also about to die? Owner of the Hall of Discard Emporium on the corner of the capital second block. Sama Sono Higurashi is my name. An antique dealer and a soldier. What an odd combination. Why did you summon them at the same time? Okay. These two were also in the restaurant on the day of the incident, Your Honor. So, this is the third group of customers the waiter was referring to earlier. <laughs> this one spends a brief time- Oh, no, no, he's not- he's not trembling this time. <clears throat> this one spends a brief time- Oh, God. I'm going crazy. Hold on. <clears throat> let me tune, let me tune. Ah, uh, ah, uh, rah, rah. This one spends a brief time each afternoon enjoying the aromatic coffee at La Quantos. Oftentimes, this one also converses with connoisseurs interested in my treasures. I have no idea what he's talking about. The old man owns an antique shop and appears to be a regular at La Quantos. Thanks for the translation. He tries to sell his antiquities to any customers who look like they would be interested. Many affluent social teas, socialites, not social teas. Many affluent socialites dine at the high-class Western establishment, after all. Oh, I see. Um, but if I'm being honest, that soldier over there doesn't seem affluent enough to be buying much of anything. Way to... <laughs> Way to judge a book by its cover, dude. You could live in a mansion, who knows? So the two of you witnessed the very moment of this heinous crime... Oh. The very moment this heinous crime unfolded. Is that correct? Sir, yes sir! Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> oh, the insolence of such an atrocity. No detail evaded this soldier's watchful eyes. Indeed! Without a... What was that? <laughs> What was that noise? <laughs> Indeed, without a doubt, that juvenile clad in somber black fired the lethal round. Okay, nope, I don't understand this guy either. Translation, please. <laughs> but putting that aside, I think I heard a strange sound just now. Yeah, yeah, what was that? I thought it was just me. <laughs> I was going crazy and it was like, a, like I don't know, something. I see. These two are the so-called decisive witnesses. That soldier said he witnessed the very moment you, saw you shot the victim. Huh? So, are you having fun yet? Are you talking to me? <laughs> I mean, my life is in danger. Yeah, I'm having, mm, having the time of my life. Honestly, I'm not. Okay. Boink. Now, let us hear your testimony. Tell the court the truth of what you witnessed during the incident. As you wish! What, was the, what is that noise? Sergeant Ta so Sergeant. <laughs> Sergeant Taizo Uzukumaru reporting for duty. Duty. Alas, this one does not wish to recall the deplorable events of that afternoon. What? Oh, he's shivering now. What we witnessed as a as a pair, as a unit. I was at the restaurant chatting with the old man as I ate my beefsteak. This one was boasting of a beautiful treasure enveloped in the golden gleam. And then, then the flash of a gun. <laughs> it's really, it's really distracting. It's like, it's like the, it's like the, the quacking in 
Lemon, like the official, like the song. What? You know? What? <laughs> if it was any louder, it would have been pretty distracting. And then the flash of a gunshot, that moment that was burned into my eyes. The black clad student shot the British man, a sudden, cowardly shot from behind. Behind? Meanwhile. Hold on. <clears throat> Meanwhile, this cl this one crawled to the floor in search of a treasure gone missing. What? What is going on? <laughs> that means, Sergeant, you must have witnessed the cre the cream. <laughs> you must have witnessed the cream and the milk in its entirety. Everything. From when the accused took the pistol to when he shot the victim. E what the fuck? Oh, he just took out a knife. <laughs> Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Uh, the despicable culprit was that delinquent of a student over there. Oh. Imagine the wretched boy would shoot an Englishman at such a sensitive jun j j juncture. Wait, that's not true. I didn't shoot anyone. You sure about that, Maruhodo? Are you doubting me now? All I did was pick up a pistol on the from the floor. Hey, dude. What's up? Oh, you left your pistol here. Bang. After introducing myself to Dr. Watson, I went back to my table to finish my coffee. I put cream in it. And then I decided to go home. As I made my way to the door, I saw a British man- British man pistol. <laughs> Sorry. I saw- I sh I saw a British made pistol on the ground, next to where the doctor was sitting. Huh? What's this? I thought- I thought that me might have accidentally dropped it, so I picked it up. Hey dude, uh, you left your lethal- lethal weapon on the floor. Oh, whoops, you're dead. But just as I was about to hand it to him... Bang! If that's really what happened, then the true culprit is still at large. And a clue to their identities rests within this testimony. Really? Quickly, not hold on. Assert your right to conduct a cross examination. Yo, <laughs> he's ready to fight. <laughs> he's ready to freaking brawl, dude. C cross examination. There's no time to waste. Now then, as you just heard, Your Honor, this testimony has conclusively proven the accused's guilt. Think. The time has come to pass judgment on this despicable university student. Oi. Indeed. There's no longer- Oh, shut That's the wrong voice. Indeed. There's no longer any room for doubt. Well then, the court hereby concludes- <laughs> What the- Hi! Me. What was that? Oh, hold on. What was that? And what is this unbearable awkward silence? I... I... No, the defense. Demands the right to conduct that cross-examination cross thing that he said to me two seconds ago that I didn't totally didn't learn in university. <clears throat> Why, is that Why is this a surprise? Oh dear, what are you, a puppet? Are these your words or those of the man next to you? Oh, listen. Uh, he got me. The prosecution objects. This clearly, this is clearly a ploy to waste everyone's time. One cannot expect such an inexperienced attorney to conduct a cross-examination. Higiari! <laughs> Regardless, the defense. Oh shit! <laughs> Regardless, the defense has every right to make such a demand. His experience or lack thereof matters not. 
Asogi, that was amazing. <laughs> my 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 heartbeat. <laughs> my heart's beating so fast. Very well. I hereby grant the defense's request to conduct a cross-examination. Excellent. Now the real battle begins. Um, but I have no idea what to do in a cross-examination. It's simple. Expose the lies in their testimony. Huh? You didn't fire that pistol. Therefore, someone must be lying. That makes sense. <laughs> the key to the truth rests within the evidence. The evidence! What do we have, actually? Oh, nope. That's the wrong part. Skip. Oh, it's just this. <clears throat> Head waiter's card. Da, 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 da. Okay. Biz it says business card, though. Anyway. The evidence. To expose their lies, you must strike them with a decisive piece of evidence. Boink. Anyway! Just try your best. <laughs> try your best, Ace Attorney. I didn't do anything, but thank you for calling out the title of this game. Uh, got it! Guess I have no choice but to go for it. My hands are weird, made a weird sloppy sound. <laughs> it's like a fish. Slapping a fish. What we witnessed. Oh, nice. This is my my gauge, I guess. Oh, okay. Press and present. Okay. <clears throat> so I was at the restaurant chatting with the old man as I ate my beef steak. Uh, let's just press everything for now. Hi! Hi! Um. <laughs> what do you want? Hurry up and speak. I have no idea what to ask. about anything that caught your interest okay um in that case what kind of dish is this beef steak it's steak made of beef whoa it's an ex it's an exquisite cut of veal grilled to perfection in an iron plate I see it is the second most delicious distant okay after cutlets, of course. Right, now I understand. I do not. Where is my water? Hold on. <clears throat> Move on. Um. What kind of dish is this? Cutlets. Oh my god, not all of them. <laughs> not all of them. Sir! Whoa! It is also an exquisite cut to feel, but coated in flour and gently fried in oil. After you accept your guilt, repent in jail, and return to society, make that your first meal. I see! That makes sense. I... Hey. You should, uh, probably ask something more relevant to the case. Yeah, got it. Let me try that again. Okay, one more question. What is that wah sound I keep hearing? <laughs> he's finally he's finally gonna ask. Uh wait, what did he did he say something else? Uh oh it's just got ugh. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we've learned that in uh, that the sergeant is a big fan of big cutlets. Great work, detective. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for your sass, Asogi. Who knew that <laughs> asking questions could be so hard? <laughs> this one was boasting about the beautiful treasure enveloped. Okay. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. My Koban. Koban? One of those ancient gold coins? Oh! Ah, Koban! Okay. Koban? Is it Koban or Koban? I don't know. 
In the previous day, that rel the precious relic of the Hoi era came to my possession. Before entering the restaurant, this one concealed it in my breast pocket. This one brought it in in hopes of encountering a connoisseur who live would who would see its value. In in other words, you were trying to sell this koba. I assume you offered it to the sergeants who you met at the restaurant? Oh please, it's obvious what you're hinting at. You're insinuating that 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 a poor soldier like him could never afford that koba. Isn't that right? Uh um <laughs> Listen here, boy. <laughs> I mean, you're already being tried of murder. Now you wish to add blasphemy against the Imperial Army to your sins? I didn't... Oh, ah! No, 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 that's not what I meant. Though he does ex he doesn't exactly seem rich. Anyway, it was long past time for lunch. The only patron who appeared interested in this, what this one has to say, was this man right here who was wrestling with a piece of grilled meat. Uh huh. Wrestling? Was he having trouble eating it? Flash of a gunshot, that moment was burned into my ass. Okay, this one's probably gonna give us something. Are you saying that you saw me? Exactly! It was you! It was definitely you! You aimed your pistol at the British gentleman with a sinister grin on your face. Now you're just lying. <laughs> What? I did no such thing. I just... If I may interject, there's something I wish to confirm. What is it, youngster? In your testimony just now, it sounds like you turned towards the victim's table after you heard the gunshots. Is there a problem with that? If that's the case, it means you didn't see the culprit pull the trigger at all. And also, ah! Uh! <laughs> it's like sa. <laughs> Ga and ah. Uh. <laughs> I could sense it. Sense what? I could sense the aura of murderous intents you were emitting. And then, just before the pistol went off, I saw you standing right there. Is that even possible? No. Do you think I have I could have become a sergeant were I not capable of such a feat? It appears that he has a baby behind him and he doesn't want to show it to us. No babies in the court. The sergeant truly believes he caught you red-handed. It's not good. That black class student started a British man, a certain carly shot from behind. This one, this one. Hi! Hi! Who's this black clad student you speak of? <laughs> my my uniform isn't black, it's dark blue! You Yadi! <laughs> anyway. There's no point in playing dumb, kid. Who else could it be other than you? Uh, there could be like so many people. Everyone's wearing Gakuran these days. What are you talking about? Also, I have the most like normal ass haircut. It could be someone else. Well, there's another black clad student standing right next to me. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Yes, yes, it was you. It was definitely you. You bring shame to our great nation. How dare you shoot a man in the back? Uh, <laughs> why are you looking at the camera like in the office? What's wrong, that old I'm not entirely sure, but something about that, what the sergeant just said, seems off. In that case, go ahead and review the information in the court record. Rec record. If you find a discrepancy, don't hold back. <clears throat> Present the contradictory evidence right in that sergeant's face. Okay. Meanwhile, this one. Okay. 
I don't need to press that one. I think it's this one. Uh, presents. Yeah, show on the front. So, when he said show on the back. <clears throat> Hold on. Present. Hi. Hi. Oh, the music stopped. That means I did something good. <laughs> um. <sighs> what in the world was that? This photograph came client flying at me. <laughs> he threw it at. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get a paper cut from that. <laughs> it's so funny. It, it's a contradiction. Yeah. Wink. <laughs> Slap noise. This must be one of those contradiction things. Are you in your right mind? What pray tell is so contradictory about this phonograph? You don't you don't see it? Bro, you need to get your eyes checked. You know, it, it's... I know what I have to say, but I can't seem to find the words. <laughs> Let this end the charade, your honor. Our Supreme Court has no room for amateur attorneys like you. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Ugh. What a pain. What a pain. Oi. Hold your horses. Don't you dare talk to my boyfriend like that. Anyway, you can't be serious. Do you really need an explanation for something like this? That's exactly what I said. This is the Supreme Court, for goodness sakes. Nice, nice burn, GG. Yeah, what he said. Also, what did you say? Maybe if you just shut up and take a look at the photograph, you'd notice too. Jesus. The sergeant's testimony contradicts the evidence. Huh? Oh, this OST. <gasps> Guys, listen. That sounds so good. Okay, I'm I'm really oh, oh the OST. Okay. Huh? Sergeant Uzukumaru. What is it? During your testimony earlier, you said the following. The black-clad student shot that British man. A sudden, cowardly shot from behind. That's right! I swear by my own eyes! I witnessed the very act. Well, you better get ready to lose those two eyes. Hi! Hi! But that doesn't make any sense! What do you mean? Be because, you know... I said so. Hey, Asogi, a little help, please? Asogi is carrying us right now. Asogi is like the freaking like top tier level like experienced player and he's literally carrying us like, like a little baby. Sure, take another good look at this photograph. Doesn't it make you laugh? The victim, Dr. Watson, died after being shot in the chest. You idiot. Oh! Sergeant, according to your testimony, the victim was shot from behind. However, the fact remains that he was shot from the front. Explain yourself. I'm waiting. Oh, baby! 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 The baby! Be- <gasps> Sorry. <clears throat> What the heck was that? A human child. Have you never seen one before? Something tried to pop out of his knapsack, but he pushed it back down. Dude has never seen a human child before in his life. Indeed. This is an obvious contradiction. Oh shit, sorry. <clears throat> Indeed, this is an obvious contradiction. Care to explain, Sar Sergeant Uzukamaru? Yes, it's all coming back to me now. 
when the gunshot rang out my eyes. Baby! We're actually fixed on La Quantos' signature beefsteak. Surely you jest! The sergeant's testimony just now has made one thing abundantly clear. Liar, liar, pants on fire. This witness, Taizo Izukumaru, soldier of the Empire, is bullshitting. Did not see the moment of which the defendant supposedly fired the pistol. Ugh. Oh. Uh, uh, this is absurd! Come on, surely you understand. Our Supreme Court has no room for amateur prosecutors like you. Oh, damn. Shots fired! Oh, oh, you can see the <laughs> You can see the baby! He flipped the mood to the courtroom in just a few words. That was a sick burn, Asogi. So this is the power of a defense attorney. But I, I really did see it! That cowardly student pointed the pistol right at the victim's defenses back. Hi! Did not! Even if I did, I did not fire it. All I did was pick it up off the floor. Hmm. Old man, perhaps you witnessed something that could shed some light on this? So much trust. My previous statement still stands. I crept under the table and heard a sharp con shot shortly after. <laughs> Sir. Crept under the table. What were you doing down there? S searching for a lost item. What did you lose? A Koba! Precious coin from the Hoi era! Why are you so freaking mad all of a sudden? Oh, he's done. He's done. <laughs> when this when this one departed for La Quantos. That invaluable item on my from my Hall of Discard hmm? Hall of Discard was tucked away in my pocket. You brought this you brought it along in hopes of selling it to the highest bidder, correct? That day this one presented the Koba to the carnivorous soldier. He was my last hope as no other patrons were willing to make a purchase. And thereupon it vanished as soon as one this one lost focus. The Coban vanished. Believing it to have fallen someplace, this one scarred the floor. This one BAM. The gunshot echoed through the restaurant, is that right? Indeed! Nevertheless, this one resumed the search of that relic from the whole Sierra. Every fiber of my being was in a frenzy. By the way, a little dramatic. Tone it down a little bit. Did you ever find that cool ball? Hmm. Alas, this one did not. That's a little suspicious. I feel like he did. Interesting. On that day, this one carelessly misplaced that fine hoy koa. Or perhaps it was stolen by some unscrupulous individual. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> As you are all aware, this time time is of the essence in today's proceedings. <laughs> Our government must report back to the British Empire by this afternoon. Boink. Ow. But the latest testimony is far from conclusive. No matter how far our government is willing to bow down to the Brits, I cannot allow our honor to pass the verdict just yet. Hmm. What say you, Prosecutor Ouchie? <laughs> Rest assured, your honor. <laughs> These witnesses still have more to testify about. Could you elaborate? 
Oh, trust me, it will all become clear with the next testimony, Your Honor. Let's just say that there's only one person who could be the murderer. Boink. And it's none other than the accurs accursed student. Do you know Skeneru Hodo? I didn't curse. I'm not cursed. I'm Seiso. I'm wholesome. What? Looks like you've incurred his wrath. I didn't do anything! <laughs> Boink. Very well, the court shall- uh, The court shall ask both witnesses to retake the stand. This time you must establish a firm basis for the defense- <laughs> Why does his, his voice turn into a um, surfer guy? Hold on. <clears throat> this time you must establish a firm basis for the defendant's guilt. Understood? This one vows to make every word count. Affirmative! Sergeant Taizo Uzukumaru! Reporting for duty once again. <laughs> the, the baby ba- the baby like- like wiggle a little bit when he- <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Hold on, we drink. <clears throat> uh, sir, there's someone peeking out from behind you. Everyone, meet the Uzukumaru's family's last hope, Kuro Maru. That's an adorable name. Also, um, why were you hiding it before? If you're just gonna... If you're just gonna announce it to everyone, why were you hiding it? <laughs> Guess he couldn't afford a babysitter. Hey, are babies allowed? In a courtroom? I don't think so! I don't think so! Anyway. <sighs> Take a good look, my dear son. Oh, hold on. Take a good look, my dear son! This is a pinwheel! Father is about to thwart evil right this instant. Watch closely! That's adorable. That's so cute. <laughs> they are as long as they're not disruptive. That, the more I know. I didn't know. They didn't find a true culprit. Even if I didn't see the, 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 the exact moment the bullet was fired, it does not change a thing. This one remembers it well. The boy in the black indeed took aim at the British gentleman. What's more, there were no other customers in the restaurant beside us. Besides us. Not the other restaurant. Indeed, the British gentleman has been quietly enjoying his food in solitude. I repeat, no one could have shot him but that wicked boy. End of report. I gotta go. Change the diaper. Goodbye. Hold on. Hi! Hi! Wait! 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 <clears throat> wait! That's impossible! Dr. Watson wasn't alone at the time. Is no one gonna talk about that freaking lady? Restrain yourself, defendant! I'm telling you, there's a young woman sitting there with him. Other or, or I that or I freaking can see ghosts. There's no, absolutely no way you two could have missed her. Ikiari! If you dare call yourself an atorn attorney, <laughs> then speak in accordance with the law. There is no place to be spewing nonsense. <sighs> Make no mistake, the victim was alone at the time of the incident. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Game froze a little bit. <clears throat> And the proof is on this photograph. This is this is a photograph of the crime scene, I presume. You ate like three bites of that steak. Boy, I wish I could eat that. Yes, Your Honor, the shot of the victim's table was captured by the investigators. As you can see, there's only a single serving of food on the table. True. Oh, true! As far as this photograph is concerned, the victim had no company. It is the only natural conclusion. Ooh, how can this be? How could this happen to me? I hereby order that the photograph be submitted to the court as evidence. 
bottle of sparkling water and a plate from the steak lunch are on the victim's table. Okay. No. What in the world is going on? How could they not have seen her? The waiter corroborated their testimony earlier. He too claimed that Dr. Watson arrived at the restaurant by himself. Well, they're all wrong. I I saw her. I swear I did. Asogi! Am I am I going crazy? Am I can I see ghosts? Like, am I part of the Fey blood? Like, what's going on? It seems that our telegram to the British Empire can be delivered on schedule. After all, there were no contradictions of any kind in the later's testimony. I didn't do a, I didn't I didn't do a cross yet, dude. As our treaty with the Britain is with the Britain. As our treaty with Britain is still in its infancy, there are delicate these are delicate times. I am honored to have played a role in advancing friendly relations between our two empires. Oh god. I'm screwed. Is this really happening? Is the trial really just gonna end just like that? Chin up, Naruhodo. It's not over yet. Is it Asogi? Oh, it isn't. Huh? If what you say is true, then there's more to this case that meets the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. Un un undraw undraw. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Time for time for another cross examination. Ah, uh, so cute. The defense may now cross examine the witness, but be quick about it. Oh, you can so I can cross examine. Okay. Know this: these courtroom procedures are men merely delaying the inevitable. These courtroom proceedings are the whole point of the justice system. Just to just to just to let you know, the whole point. <laughs> Every time a prosecutor tells you that, like, oh, like, you, there's no need to cross-examine. Like, dude, the whole point of me being here is so that I can cross-examine. What is you? Alright. This one remembers it well. The boy in the black indeed took aim at the British gentleman. What's more, there were no other customers in the restaurant besides us. The British gentleman had been quietly enjoying his food in solitude. I repeat, no one could have shot him but that wicked boy, end of report. Is there anything else I have? Let me, let me look at this again. <clears throat> it's really nothing, huh? Hmm. Wait? Wait? No. Yeah, no. I was gonna be like, <laughs> the <laughs> the chair is not facing the chair is not facing the table, but it's because. Wait. Yeah, well, I mean, it's because he was like that, right? But why was he facing that way? Is there any is there any particular reason? Entrance. Maybe I should press. It's probably it's probably a pressing thing for now. Um. Start from the beginning. I didn't see the exam moment. Bullets fired. Uh, it doesn't change the thing. Hold it, bitch. No, no, no. It's not the same thing. After all, I didn't shoot him. That's the difference in perspective between a student and a soldier. I don't know about that. Defendants consider the following. Perish. Just now, I blinked my eyes. Good, good, good job. Okay. Did you witness the moment it happened? No. Of course not. And yet, the truth remains that I did indeed blink. And that's how it is. That's such a weird... <laughs> that's a weird argument. And that's how... What is? Ugh. Regardless, right after the gunshot pierced my eardrums, I saw you turn your pistol towards the British gentleman. That alone tells the full story, don't you think? Ugh. 
Our antique stealing witness. Uh, in addition, our antique stealing witness saw the very same thing. Isn't that right, good sir? Mm -hmm. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Took aim at the British gentleman. Hi. Well, this is not right. This is obviously like not right. So it's true that I was holding a gun in that instance, but I just picked it off of the floor. I swear. That's exactly what a criminal would say. <laughs> After finishing my coffee, I was about to leave the restaurant. And then I was like, damn. Who left this perfectly, perfectly loaded gun on the floor? I saw a gun lying on the floor next to Dr. Watson, and then so I went to grab it. Next thing I knew, I shot him. I'm just kidding. The gunshot rang out through the restaurant. <laughs> Hmm, life never goes according to plan. What does that mean? I, I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I can, uh, you know, not shoot someone. Huh? What do you mean by that? You find yourself in this quagmire because you found a misplaced firearm. This one, on the other hand, was unable to find a misplaced koba and is now trapped on a quagmire of my own. Um, I don't think it's the same. <laughs> Regardless, one cannot deny that um, that what this one witnessed. <clears throat> you were stand, uh, you were standing over the British gentleman with a gun in hand. What's more, there were no other customers in the restaurant besides us. Hi. Are you sure? I'm telling you, there's a woman dining in the, with Dr. Watson. Hey, Gaddy! Still repeating the same old nonsense, I think. According to our witnesses, this woman thinks he's silly and he becomes more and more nasally. This is only in your imagination. Uh, if only there were more witnesses who could back me up. The incident took place after 2 p.m. During the gap between lunch and dinner. That explains why there weren't more potential witnesses around. Yeah. yeah sorry. <clears throat> yes, the 2 in the afternoon is certainly an unorthodox time to be having a meal. Perhaps the victim had a reason to be dining at La Quantos at that particular time? Oh, uh, yes, the month that. It seems he has a reason indeed, Your Honor. Oh, this is new information. This is new information. Huh? Oh, what's this? This was found in the victim's breast pocket. And what exactly would this be? This looks to be a medical... This looks... Oh, yeah. I thought I read it wrong, but I read it right. This looks to be a medical report, Your Honor. The victim paid a visit to the doctor before going to the restaurant. Hot a clinic! <laughs> Even the date and time are listed here. 19 November, from approximately noon to 1 in the afternoon. Right before the time of the incident. Clearly, the victim went out to, uh, for a late lunch after his examination. I found it unnecessary to report this as it has no bearing on the case at hand. Every time they say it, every time they say that, it actually bears something in the case at hand, so. <clears throat> Hmm. What do you make of this, Naruhodo? Me? Uh, well, I didn't think it was important either. There's always a chance we'll find some use for this evidence later. Yeah. Should I request a copy of the doc? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the fuck would not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> You're not running out of pocket space, dude. May we have? Uh, may we have the medical, the me me medical, medical report uh, as um evidence? What for? Uh, evidence. Thanks to the decisive testimony we just heard, there's no need for further evidence. Besides, what the victim did prior to the incidents is of, of, of no relevance to the court. Iggy Adi, motherfucker. Sorry to disappoint, but you are goddamn wrong. But we'll be the judge of that. I excuse me? Lest you forget, you have no right to deny a legitimate request made by the defense. 
Very well. The court approves the defendant's requests. <laughs> you youngsters and your rights. I fear for the future of our empire. <laughs> you youngsters and your rights. All right, ouchie. I'll see you in jail. The court orders you to submit the victim's medical record as evidence. Medical report has been filed. <laughs> Hara Clinic. Is it Hotta? <laughs> Am I saying <laughs> This whole time I've been saying Hara. <laughs> Hara, Hara Clinic. It's Hotta. It's probably the Hotta. Right now, we're in a desperate need of a new lead. Yeah, we sure are. Though this may seem irrelevant at first glance, to under don't underestimate its potential. Yeah, got it. Hmm. Soon you will realize how futile it is to prolong this trial. I, for one, believe that the testimony has painted a sufficiently clear picture. What say you, antique dealer? Do 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 enjoy. Quietly enjoying. Wait, hold on. Can I can I look at? Hold on. I'm gonna look at the thing that just. <sighs> There's nothing else. There's nothing else. Examination record from Hada Clinic. Found in the victim's pocket. I want to know what it says. All right, whatever. Press. Hi. Hi. Is that really what you saw? Doctor Watson eating at his table alone. Fortunately for you, that is indeed what this one saw. The old man, the soldier, and the waiter have all testified as such. And if that wasn't enough, there's also evidence that attests to that fact. That steak is cold. As you can see, there is but a single serving of beef steak on the table, enough for only one person. No. The antique store owner, the imperial army sergeants, and the waiter. It's possible that they're all liars. How? But what reason would they have to lie? Frankly, Asogi. Oh, frankly, Asogi, I don't have a clue. A steak on both photographs. Wait, can I? I can't... I can't tell... the... <laughs> the state of the steak. Uh, a steak for two. I mean, if it was a steak for two, it would have been on the in the middle of the table and you'd have two, two like, smaller um, plates. No one could have shot him but that wicked boy. I'll press... I'll just press everything. Why won't you just tell the truth? What? What did you just say? At the time... Yeah, there's a woman sitting opposite Dr. Watson. I've seen this so many times. I could understand if it was just one of you overlooked her presence. But there's no way both of you, mister. Something's not right. Hmm... Something's... Fishy. Unfortunately, it's not... It's not just the two of them. What? The waiter said the exact same thing. He too claimed that there was a victim, uh, that the victim was alone. I am screwed. Oh. That's right, in other words, you are fucked. You're the only person in, uh, who insists on the existence of this phantom woman. But... <sighs> if there was indeed a woman present, you'll just have to prove it. Uh... If you cannot... Then I will never want- and I never want to hear about her again. You're simply wasting our time right now. I don't know how to respond to that. Asogi! <laughs> Great job, Naruhodo. That's one new piece of information in the bag. <laughs> I am like, yeah, I'm about to be sentenced to death and he's like, great job. You did your best. I'm like, thank you! <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we've made any real progress. I still can't find a dick. A bib, dip, 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 dip. I still can't find a dick. 
I still can't find a decent contradiction. You sure about that? Here, show me that medical report you just got. Oh, you mean this? We went through all that trouble to get our hands on this. You'd be wise to examine it more, more, blah, blah, more closely. Okay, how do I do that? Jeez. The, <laughs> the, the, the game like stopped a little bit and I got a little scared. In the evidence menu, there's an option to check the details. Touch that, you'll be able to closely inspect the evidence. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, it's, it's, um, it goes by, like, was it Justice for All or Trials or Tribulations? The one, the one, uh, the Ace Attorney games that where you can actually, like, spin around the evidence and stuff. You can use your finger to rotate the evidence. Okay. That way you can view it from multiple angles. Furthermore, by touching any point on the screen, you can maneuver the cursor to help you see if there are any clues. When the cursor reacts, go ahead and touch and examine it. Okay. Alright, now to hold on. Let's see what we can glean from this new medical report. Yeah, you got it. Let's do this. Okay. I'll try investigating anything that stands out. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's let's start from the from the from here. Um nothing here? Oh no, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. This one? Examine. Oh cute. This is cute, this is cute. I like that. How the clinic is written here on the front. Ugh, I hate hot hotta 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 clinic. Ugh, I hate the word clinic as much as I hate treatment center and the hospital. Well, I mean, well, they're this almost the same thing. One time when I was about five years old, I caught a cold and I had to go to the clinic. Hated it. That merciless needle pierced my arm while I was still weakened from the fever. God, I will never ever forget that moment for the rest of my life. What a what a gloomy yet completely normal childhood story. <laughs> He just called me a normie. Okay, it doesn't look like this clinic deals with internal medicine. What? This isn't what we need. Let's look thoroughly for any other clues. Uh, this one? This one. This medical report looks like it was uh, first issued a pretty long time ago. I think it's a personal medical record. His treatment must have been ongoing. That would be impossible. That would be impossible for me. I'd never go to a doctor, even if I was dead. What is up with you? <laughs> What's going on with you? You can't visit a doctor if you're dead. Do you really hate doctors that much? Well, they inject you with painful needles. They make you di drink disgusting medicines. What are you, ten years old? Like. On top of that, they charge you for it. I'm dying here and they expect to be paid. <laughs> I guess, I mean, listen. In the future, you may get free healthcare if you lobby for it, you know? <laughs> Don't give up there, my friend. I bet you've caused doctors a lot of trouble with that attitude. I should soak your hand, your hard head in some of that disgusting medicine once in a while. <laughs> What's going on? Alright, anyway, what is this? Yeah, someone always pays- I mean, like, they'll- <laughs> They're- they're- th That's their job, you know? They need to get paid to- To do things. Anyway. Can't freaking read any of this. These appear to these appear to be his doctor's notes. There's an entry written here from the day of the incident. Uh, there's an entry written here from the day the incident occurred. Prepared anesthesia tooth extraction. Extraction? That's when they pull the tooth out, right? Before the incident, it appears Doctor Watson was suffering from a toothache. The dentists in Europe uh, use laughing gas for these days. I wonder if they use that. 
I've read about it. They say it makes you go numb. Supposedly it makes it so you won't feel pain, but I find that hard to believe. What are you- <laughs> there, are, there are some precautionary notes written by the doctor. Due to residu residual, yeah. Due to, due to residual anesthesia, consumption of anything but water is strictly prohibited for three hours after his treatment. He could not have eaten the steak! Yeah! What? It might help us to keep this information in mind. Okay! Oh, uh, okay. With the new information we have now, meaning of that testimony is completely changed. You're onto something, aren't you? Let's listen to the testimony. <laughs> Let's go! Alright! I knew it, the stake was weird. <laughs> the stakes are high in this one. Um. Quietly enjoying his food in solitude. Did he say anything about steak? Or is it just quietly enjoying his food? Oh, okay, yeah. Because he can't eat food. Um, dun 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 dun. Let's go! Hi! Hi! Uh. Um. So. In other words. What's wrong, attorney? Can't go on your tongue? I'm a defendant. First, attorney. Second. Naruto. Getting tongue-tied ta ta tongue is no big deal. I do it all the time. Happens to the best of us. Asogi. Your cross-examination earlier was indicative of one important fact. Whenever you raise that hand of yours, something else raises. <clears throat> There's something on your mind that you've been- you're dying to let out. <laughs> so don't worry about finding the right words to speak your mind. Okay, got it. I'll take your advice to heart. <laughs> Witness. Oh. Here's the victim's medical report. Ha ha! And what of it, young one? According to what's written here, I have good reason to believe. Dink! There's something off about your testimony. Oh dear, did you forget what I told you? Uh, what did you tell me? Amateurs like you should know when to keep your mouth shut. Pipe down. Huh? There are- here are the facts. The victim was murdered at the restaurant sometime after 2 p.m. Whatever he might have done before then is irrelevant to the case. No, you are wrong. D that's not- Naruhodo, don't worry about finding the right words. Just speak your mind. <laughs> your honor, at this point there is no need for, per for, for, for further deliberation. Hmm. After all the previous testimony was made everything perfectly clear. The medical reports is irrelevant to the case at hand. As for why, it is because this little universe... His first, his first proper desk slam. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Naruhodo. Are you saying that this medical report isn't relevant at all? That's exactly what he said. He literally said that like three times. Is that really what you think? Oh, what's with the sudden shift in tone? Don't scare me like that. Anyway, don't think too hard about it. It's common sense. Even if the hot, oh, even if the hot dog clinic is in fact a dent. Even if the hot dog clinic is, in fact, a dental clinic? D dental clinic? That doesn't change a thing! Even if, at that dental clinic, the victim had undergone a truth, a truth extraction. <laughs> uh, okay, everything's fine. A truth extraction, a tooth extraction, ex ex tooth extraction. I'm Disney's frozen. What? Moreover, 
The victim was prohibited from consuming solid food after operation. Oh, um... Wipe, 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 wipe. Hold on, boy! What are you getting at? Prohibited from consuming solid food? What in the world? It's all been noted in fine print. Any consumption of solid food is strictly prohibited for three hours after treatment. N no that can't be! Sir, you're a load of bullshit. What is it? Now you've heard the truth. At the time of the incident, shortly after 2 p.m., the victim was unable to eat a thing. Is it before or after? <laughs> this is an outrage! In addition, why are you staring at me? You claimed several times that the victim was enjoying his meal alone. However, that claim does not hold up. Ooh. Because the victim had just undergone a tooth extraction and could not eat solid food. Well said, partner. <laughs> I got, I got, I, uh, I got, uh, complimented by a foggy. I did good! Yeah! Yeti! What are you getting at? Oh, what are you getting at, brat? I don't know. <laughs> Your argument is meaningless. Take a look at this photograph. Clearly, there is a serving of beefsteak on the victim's table. He got it. He got it. Fool. Haven't you realized that in itself, that in itself is the contradiction? Oh, what did you say? Right now, right now the situation has been completely turned on its head. Isn't that right, Naruhodo? Yes. <laughs> huh? Uh, y yeah, yeah, uh huh. The victim, the victim could no longer, the victim could no longer consume food on the account that he's dead. The victim could not consume any solid food because he had just had a tooth, tooth, tooth. Why is it so hard to say tooth? Tooth extracted. If that was the case, another question arises: Who exactly then was eating this beefsteak? Doink. The court demands an explanation. Understood, defense? Why is it my fucking job? Uh, oh, uh, 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 you mean me? Listen up. The real fight begins once you give the judge your answer. Show me what you can do. Time for a great turnabout. Okay. Mm, yes, sir. The only person who could have been eating this beefsteak is me. <laughs> uh, the the victim, me, the two witnesses, someone else, someone else. Of course, it must have been the person who was dining with the victim. Yigiyari! Don't make me waste my breath. No such person exists. Hi. Don't make me waste my time. She most certainly does. At the time of the incident, the victim was in no condition to be eating solid food. And yet, the beefsteak lay half-eaten on his table. Boink. Therefore, someone else must have been present. That's the only explanation. So long as his obvious contradiction remains, we cannot trust the previous testimony. And if you keep trying to rig this trial in your favor, I'm gonna have to kill you myself. <laughs> I will report you to the Ministry of Justice. Mark my words. Ah, uh, so cute. You... You little... Do you really think you can take on the judicial system of the Japanese Empire? You are not my opponent today. Wh what my opponents are the two witnesses here. How dare you! 
What do you mean by that? As the evidence clearly shows, the victim was not alone. I like how he's the one. <laughs> he's the one doing the whole thing now. <clears throat> oh my god. Or are you purposely trying to hide the truth? I sincerely hope you're... Uh, I sincerely hope you're prepared to be charged with perjury. Oh damn. Perjury? Not to mention, this is a murder trial. Being found guilty of perjury would imply that you are accomplices to the murder. Oh damn. Oh damn. Murder? N no! No! You freaking forgot that this was- ah. Uh, <laughs> p, p p p prosterous I was- I was not aware of such a thing. I simply testified as I was ordered to. Indeed, that is the truth! You were ordered to testify that the young lady was never at the crime scene. Oh. The plot thickens. And I oop. What was that? Witness! Could you repeat that? Oh, um, well, you see, I'm tap dancing now. You were ordered to say that? Now hold on! That was a. You were ordered to testify that a young lady was never at the crime scene? Ugh! Let me guess. This lady. She's a foreigner, I take it. <laughs> Gaijin? Oh! Igiyari! What? What? What is the meaning of this? Do these witnesses commit perjury? You two, answer me at once! Oh. It would just. It was just a slip of the tongue. Order, order, order. Someone order me Uber Eats. Hold on, let me drink some. Explain to me what's going on here. I knew it. You ordered these witnesses to lie under oath. The, the prosecution was not aware of this either. <laughs> then who gave the order? Th that's th th <clears throat> this one's lips are sealed. You don't care if you're and <laughs> so you don't care if you're in indicted as an accessory to murder? This is preposterous! It appears that these two witnesses are dumbasses. Have been silenced by someone who with influence far beyond their own. Ooh. Moreover, the good prosecutor had absolutely no knowledge of this. And now you know he's too dumb to do something like that. Seriously? But who could exert that kind of influence? Let's ask the baby. <laughs> Get the baby to testify. The government? The military? It could even be the police. Well, Narumodo, do you have any idea who might have ordered them to stay silent? If you can identify a culprit, we might. If you can identify a culprit, we can demand them to appear in court. I need to identify the one who ordered both witnesses to hide the truth. How? I don't know anything. Obviously, we need to find some evidence first. Okay, thank you, thank you. Like I thought, I thought like the option was just gonna come up, and it's like <laughs> I'm just gonna have to any mini mini moment. Evidence that shows the influence of a powerful third party. Evidence? There's no way we could have... 
Hold on. No, hold on. Remember what happened earlier? What? I mean, huh? Earlier, we examined this piece of evidence. Piece. <laughs> this piece of evidence and found a new lead, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. There's more where that came from. We may be able to uncover another hidden clue by examining the other pieces. Oh! There's no time to waste. Well? If either of you have fabricated your testimony, oh shit! <laughs> if either of you have fabricated your testimony, I shall declare you guilty of perjury. Please wait just a moment, Your Honor. I, ouchie, swear to the heaven and earth that I had no part in this. I swear. Then defendant, no attorney. What is going through your mind? I really want steak, sir. Ugh. I can't do this. There's, time, there's no time to gather my thoughts. Is it? Can I Can I do it now? Can I examine my badge? I'm just <laughs> oh no. I mean, this is just... Yeah. It's fine. Is it this one? <gasps> okay. I can. Alright. Cool. Examine. <clears throat> In this floor plan, there are several points of interest. Oh, you're right. Even though this layout is supposed to match the crime scene exactly, the woman you insist was there isn't noted here. Yeah, what's up with that? And one more thing. Look at this. I think it says kitchen. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that's correct. I wouldn't be able to write the word kitchen so quickly like that. What? Oh! What? Oh, is it in... Oh, okay. So the original is in English, is what you're telling me. And these, like, these people are Japanese, and he's like, I wouldn't be able to write it so quickly because I don't know how to write in Roman letter letters. Especially the ch part. That's just like you, <laughs> Naruhodo. <laughs> Always getting caught up in the details. Aw. What? Wait. Imperial Pori Satoru Hosonaga. How did he. How did he make such a stupid mistake? <laughs> this is rather odd. <laughs> yeah? What's wrong, Asogi? I totally have no idea what's wrong about this. This is totally normal. The name of the witness is written down here Satoru Hosonaga. Well, obviously, it's a business card after all. The name is not the problem, it's the title. The title? Oh! Imperial Police Division 1, Investigation. Lead Detective Hotaru Hosonaga. Sa Satoru Hotaru. <laughs> Satoru Hosonaga. D detective? What in the world is going on? Hmm. I have no idea. If he has the authority of a police officer, he may be capable of coercion. Business card! Isn't it normal for detectives to also be waiters? Yeah, yeah, um, baito, baito. Uh, the detective, you know, sometimes, times are tough. You really, like, you really just gotta have, like, two jobs at a time, you know? <clears throat> I, I get it, dude. I get it. <laughs> I'll just have to close my eyes and blurt out the first name that comes to mind. Don't, you don't have to do that! You don't have to do that! Aside from the prosecutor, I believe this person was influential enough to pressure them. Uh, this guy. Yeah. Wait, I want to see the other. Mm. Owner, lost a golden coin. Soldier, rank sergeant, witnessed the incident. Yep, this one. Head waiter, da da da. What was waiting tables at the crime scene all the day of the incident? If he was undercover, that was so sloppy of him. He literally just like served us his freaking business card. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Hi. Um, might the name of this person be Satoru Hosonaga? Hosonaga? The waiter? Higiyari. Balderdash. Uh, Balderdash. Bandersnatch! Why would a mere waiter need to sli slice these witnesses? Like steak! 
Moreover, there's no way he has all that level of influence. You're not wrong, but what if... He was an idiot. This man wasn't really a waiter. P pardon me? Where are you going with this? Boink. Go on, Naruhodo. Now's your chance to strike him down. While I ice my hands. The evidence that points towards Satoru Hosonaga's true identity is this card. Hi. Hi. It's the sketch of that crime scene drawn by the waiter. Why, he certainly is a resource resourceful head waiter. He is also a dumbass. No, Your Honor, that's just the back of the card. What you ought to be paying attention to is the back of the back. What? Just say the front. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry. That would be the front, I guess. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. In other words, please take a look at the front of the back, Your Honor. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. You got it. You t basically. <laughs> Could someone reiterate that for me? Allow me. Satoru Hosonaga drew this sketch on the back of his business card. And, needless to say, business cards display the identity of the owner. The, I the identity of their owner. Oh! Oh! I see your honor has figured it out. Imperial Police Division 1, Investigation. Lead Detective Satoru Hosonaga. What? What in blazes? That waiter is actually a detective for the Imperial Police? I, ouchie, has not told about this. I have suffered an ouchie. The Imperial Police holds absolute, nay, overwhelming authority over the citizenry. Jesus. <laughs> Witnesses! Yes! Were you ordered to fabricate your testimonies by this so-called waiter? Were you told to hide the fact that you witnessed the presence of a young lady on that day? Well! What? Hello? Oh, he's back. Oh no, there's three of them. <laughs> Yo! The witness stand is crowded. Detective Hosonaga. I forgot the <laughs> I forgot the I forgot the Um <clears throat> To be honest, to be honest, I saw this coming. I knew it since the moment I asked to hand over that sketch. Yeah, you freaking you fucked up there, dude. That's why he was so that's why he would like He's going a little crazy over it. I, qu I request that you present that sketch to the court as evidence for the trial. Oh, oh, well... Something wrong? Go on, hand it over. Oh, uh, certainly. As you wish. <laughs> and I oop! Come to think of it, he did seem a bit hesitant. Hesitant to hand over his card. If you must investigate, do it to the utmost perfection. That is my motto. Yet here I am, having been exposed due to my own blunder. I guess I made a mistake. What an utter failure on my part. Then you really are a detective! Hmm. But why would, it, why would a detective of the Imperial Police be employed at a, at a Western restaurant? Undercover, dude. Oh! Maybe- <laughs> Oi, Kora! I was reading. Oh, maybe a detective's salary is too low for him. Yeah. <laughs> that could also be it. Also, I'll save. Just in case. I was conducting an undercover investigation. Why did you bring your freaking business card with you the whole- Bruh. <laughs> this guy is really bad. <gasps> An undercover investigation? Why? Recently, there's been a string of incidents at that particular restaurant. In order to investigate, I took on the role of a waiter. 
and infiltrated the establishment. A string of incidents. What kind exactly? Blech. I cannot disclose any details regarding the investigation. I can only say that it is unrelated to the murder of the case, uh, the murder case at hand. Ugh. Hmm. Very well. Uh, very well then, Detective Hosonaga. Allow me to confirm one thing. You're going to jail. And what would that be, Your Honor? Earlier, these witnesses let slip a crucial new piece of information. During these incident during the incident, it seems that there was a guest at the victim table. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. If that is indeed the truth, then as their waiter you were aware of that. And yet, not only have you avoid testifying to that fact, you've even used your authority to prevent these witnesses from speaking out. Do you deny any of this? <coughs> cough, cough. I am dying. I do not. What? I mean, how how else would you, like, deny it, you know? We were right. Bang! Uh, I ran out- I ran out of the kitchen as soon as I heard that gunshot. What I saw then was the lifeless victim with the university student towering over him, firearm in hand. And also, another individual strutting across the table. A British woman, I believe. We were right again. I quickly had the rex- restaurant. I quickly had the restaurant blockaded as I reported the incident to headquarters. It was then that I received the sets of special orders from my superiors. Oh. Special orders? You mean... Release the British woman from the scene of the crime immediately. Hmm. I was also to conceal anything that implied she was ever there. Those were the absolute, irrefutable commands issued to me. But that British woman was the true culprit. It would be in your best interest not to finish that statement. Huh? Maintaining good relations with the British Empire is one of our nation's top priorities. A British man was murdered, and now you wish to convict a British woman of that crime? Unless your case is watertight, we cannot afford to take that risk. That is bullshit! I see. That's the reason behind the disappearance of our phantom woman. At least I'm not going crazy. That's insane! <laughs> our justice system is going crazy. <clears throat> hmm. 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 I just remembered something. I need to pee. <laughs> Hasogi? Imperial Yume University accepts exchange students from the British Empire. And currently there is one such student in our Department of Medical Research. A young female student, no less. Sonna <laughs> guzen aru. What kind of coincidence is it that he's just like, Oh, by the way! <laughs> <laughs> There's a girl. Might know him. Probably knows him. Also British. Funny joke. I just remembered that now. Seriously? You truly are a gifted attorney. I can see why you chose to study abroad at our empire's as our empire's representative. Th then that means. After escorting the lady away from the crime scene, I looked into her identity for the sake of being thorough. In that case, you would do well to state her name to the court. The name of the British lady who dined with the doctor is Miss Giselle Brett. Giselle Brett. She she's an ex 
Exchange student at Imperial Yume and a member of the Victims Research Lab. What? What? I was ordered by my superiors to erase her presence from the scene. <laughs> I thought he's. I thought he was gonna say like, erase her from existence. <laughs> Yeah, I killed her. That's a separate that's a separate crime though, so don't worry about it. As such, I coerced these men into concealing the truth. This I do not deny. Alright, see you later. I leave the rest in your honor's capable hands. Hmm. Shit's fucked. Very well, the court will now uh, the court will now state its op options <laughs> opinions on the matter. So far, this trial has proceeded under one major assumption. That the victim was sitting alone at the time of the incident. Amp. However, that assumption has now been discredited. In light of this development, the court believes this is too- it is too- uh, it is still too early to hand down a verdict. Oh, are we getting another day? You got it! Your honor, but that means- we would delay the verdict and our telegram to the British Empire until later this afternoon. Oh, it's just a... Just a, a delay. We're not getting another day. Our government won't be happy about that. Restrain yourself, prosecutor ouchie. Lest you sprain your ouchie, ouchie wouchie. The trail... The trail... The trials of the Supreme Court are not to be swayed by political influence. That's a good judge. I mean, that's a bare minimum, but good judge. Hm. Detective Hosonaga. You're a bitch. Yes? Please issue a summons for Miss Giselle Brett. As your honor commands. Detective! <laughs> Doing so would mean to find the special orders you were given. I believe I made this clear earlier. I am dying. <laughs> if you must investigate, do it to the utmost perfection. That is my motto. Detective, um, won't your livelihood be at risk? It's okay. I'm freaking dying! <laughs> yeah. That's basically what he's saying here. Bring it on, I say. He's gonna pass away by the end of this trial. Oh my god. Let us adjourn this trial for a short recess. I hereby order that the exchange student, Miss Giselle Brett, to be summoned to this court. Is that understood? Yes, your honor. <laughs> Sir! Nice. Very good. The court will now take a 30 minute recess. That's a long recess. To be continued. I don't- I think this is the first time, like, a tutorial, uh, case is this long. I feel like it shouldn't be this long, usually. I don't think there's a- I don't think there's, there's ever a to be continued, you know? Oh, 